Welcome everyone. We will begin our webinar about the Advanced Design Connection, a webinar that is organized by Gretech and Idea Sadika. So first of all, the speakers uh, will be today uh, Hugo Michaud, our Sales Director of Americas of Gretech Group, and myself, Marketing man Manager at uh, Gretech Canada, and we have two special guests from Idea Sadika. Vic and Martin, who will be presenting the solution in details. I want to just introduce this new partnership that we have between Gretek and Idea Statica. This partnership is very beneficial for Autodesk users and a Gretek customer. We actually developed the perfect uh, steel connection design tool when uh, dealing with the steel structure. So we already had a pre-launch pre presentation a couple of days ago during our annual Advanced Steel Academy in San Antonio, Texas. But we wanted to give you another opportunity and also the NASCC attendees that we met at San Antonio, the opportunity to witness the, the potential of uh, this new solution. So what is this new solution exactly? It's Advanced Design Connection, which will be released beginning of April. It's the tool that's going to help you in Advanced Steel design and check all structural steel joints in minutes. So I won't go in details now. I'm going to let Ilya Sarika do the demonstration. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, once more. Uh, I'm Vit Hutchik from Idea Statica company and I'm from the Czech Republic. Uh, we prepared for you two examples of uh, migration uh, data between advanced uh, steel and advanced design connection. Uh, let me proceed to the first example. First example will be uh, about uh, European standards and second example about American standards. At first, we prepared uh, this kind of steel hall, and I, what what is uh, the thing I want to show you is the migration of data with this uh, particular joint. Um, so I will start right now. Uh, the integration uh, starts when you type in uh, command concheck, and this uh, calls our application. First of all, you are asked for the connection point here in the command line. I will just uh, turn on the snapshot for only node. So I will pick up, uh, sorry, end point. I will pick up this small tiny dot. And now I I am asked for the objects and the first beam I uh, will choose will, the, will be the uh, main beam, the bearing beam, second and other beams. Now I click with the right button of the mouse and uh, last thing I'm asked for the objects. So I will just pick up every single feature which is in this joint. Uh, welds, uh, plates, bolts, and some other stuff. Now I will click again, once again, with my right mouse button, and immediately uh, the advanced design connection uh, window is appearing. Uh, in a second, you will see that the whole structure of the joint was imported. Here we have the joint and we can proceed to the other definitions. Uh, geometry was defined in the advanced steel and we can proceed to load effects. Um, uh, we can have uh, numerous load effects and uh, now I want to demonstrate to you that uh, with the more, more complicated joints with a lot of members. You, um, you are, if you are a little bit lazy or you don't have time or you have some outputs from uh, another programs, you can input uh, internal forces from the Excel file, just picking, picking up the data 
to clipboard and place them here to the application. So we have our data here and we imported the internal forces as you can see. Uh, another thing, if you have a hinge connection, it's useful uh, to move a little bit load uh, to another position because we don't want to have bending moments in the hinge. Uh, I can proceed immediately to check because I defi defined all the things that is needed and I can uh, start the calculation of the joint. First of all, I will show you uh, the results of stress strain analysis. It will be calculated in a second. And here we are. Uh, now I want to demonstrate you our system of uh, checks. Uh, if you see in the main window, some parts are gray, some parts are green. And this indicates that the gray parts are not used much. Uh, the usage of the gray parts is about uh, 0 to 60 percent. The green parts is a little bit uh, used more. It's used from 60 to 95 percent. And if we uh, see some uh, orange part that is used for 95% to 100 and the red one is uh, uh, overloaded. It's like traffic lights. We can also see, for example, strain check. Uh, this particular case is not too lo loaded too much, but now we can see the equivalent stress in the connections, in the plates. And uh, another uh, nice feature if you uh, place a mouse on above, uh, for example, this plate, uh, it indicates, and if I click on it, I will see the results here, and uh, the program pick it up, a right plate from this uh, table, and I can see the results. I can choose another. Uh, for plastic strain, for example, or uh, bolt forces. I can see here uh, the tension in the bolts or meshed construction if I want to. Uh, another nice thing, uh, if I want to check, for example, this, this bolt, I can click on it and click on it, it appears here in the left table and I can check the equ equations by pressing this plus button and we see uh, the, all of these equations from the code and it's filled by values. So it's really easy and nice to see what's behind the calculation. Uh, this is for the balls and we have, have it all for the welds too. So I will pick up, uh, just sort it for the usage intention. I will pick up this, um, this weld and open up the uh, equations. Here you can see the evaluated uh, stress in the weld and here you can see where is the weld placed on the construction in this plate. Uh, if I am satisfied I, will, I can proceed for example to bill of material and at the drawings uh, click on the refresh and wait for a second and then I can see uh, all of these plates are here drawn with the uh, with the uh, with all sizes, and I can export it to DXF and use it as a as a 
draft of drawing or something. Then I, of course, want to generate a report. We have three kinds of reports, one online, this is just a simple report to uh, just for one page or detailed and of course you can pick up uh, which things do you want to have, another views, um, you can uh, uh, add some pictures or another uh, buckling analysis or anything else if you want to. You can also export it, export these um, reports to uh, PDF or, which is interesting, you can save it as MHT file, for example, I will save it to desktop and I can open it with Microsoft Word and use it as a normal document. I can write here my name, I can edit the pictures which is interesting and useful to uh, if you want, want to add some more information. Uh, this is all from my first example and uh, if you have some questions you can place them to a chat window and I will proceed to second part of the our uh, presentation here. Oh, just let me close this. Here we have, this is our second example and we have simple T connection and uh, here the cross sections are uh, from the American standard. Uh, I think this is the uh, S10 and this is the uh, HP10 I sections. So now I will uh, try to show you the workflow for connection in American standards. Uh, now I just type the con check and not the con check only concheck ASC. Now I have to pick up the right node. I will select this node at the end of the beam. Uh, first beam will be the bearing beam and all of the other elements. I clicked with the right mouse button and the advanced design collection application already started. Here you can see all of our data are imported. We have the construction here. So we can proceed to uh, designing it. Uh, let me just switch to the imperial units. It's really easy. I can just click here and I now I have the project in Imperial units. We will add some load effects. I will add one load effects. Of course, I can add it more. Uh, it will be two kips. Here minus five. And here it will be six, 700 kips per inch. You can see our internal forces here in the main window in the 3D scene. And let me proceed to the check. I will calculate the stress and strain analysis. And now you saw something is wrong. We have here the red one on the on the uh, end plate and on the bolt. Uh, here we can see uh, the strain check. We have here overloaded the uh, the plastic welds. Uh, 
and I want to show you the equivalent stress. You can see here and the plastic strain uh, force in the bolts and of course I want to show you the deformation of the structure. You can play a little bit here and see the mechanism of the of the problem. I will go back to load effects and uh, a little bit go down with them and see what's happening now, if we are okay or not. Just recalculating again the this item and now you see that we are succeed everything is green if I turn the overall check on I can see the red parts are now green and it's uh, we using them uh, from 60 to 95 percent and it's okay now I want to show you uh, for example another feature if we turn here into items, project items, I can he have here uh, several uh, connections, for example, uh, numerous connections from one project, from the one steel hall, or I can, I can make a copy of first connection and make it, for example, uh, stiffness analysis. So I will show you the stiffness analysis of our uh, section. We will go back to geometry and we, important thing what to, do, what to do is the uh, choose analyst beam. We want to choose this beam number two which is this one. Uh, in this example it's uh, it's obvious, but when you have some 3D joints with numerous members, you have to choose the right one. Then I will go back to check and turn on the stiffness analysis. This analysis is a little bit uh, more complicated, so it will take a few seconds more to calculate it, and uh, I believe it will be right, right now done. We calculate it as increased method iterationally and after the analysis is over we get uh, we get the we get the nice diagram uh, which is here and you can see immediately where uh, is your joint placed. It's pinned, semi-rigid or rigid here it is semi-rigid. So if you are an experienced engineer with a lot of time you can place this, uh, this number which is initial rotational stiffness to your FIA program and make the calculation, the, cal uh, the global calculation of whole structure again to make it a little bit more accurate. Um, this is the end of the our second example. We just want to have take a few minutes to talk about the pre-launch promotion and free trial that we offer you until the March 31st. 25% per of discount on the license and also we offer you 40 days free trial. So please contact me uh, at estelle.maradan at greatech.com so I will be able to provide you with the activation keys and the download package for the free trial. So I hope you all enjoy this webinar and uh, wish you a very good day.